A truck carrying several hundred gallons of paint overturned on I-75 south of Monroe County. Inslee Nichols shows the crews cleaning up the spill and neighbors checking for discolored water in streams nearby. Neighbors around Riverwalk subdivision look out on the pond in their backyards, keeping an eye out for the brownish water to take on a new color. It looked normal like it normally did, so we, we, we felt like, well, maybe it hadn't, hadn't got here, but we weren't really sure how much. This creek leads over to I-75 South, right by the Johnsonville Road exit, where a semi-truck carrying paint turned over. I would say several hundred gallons I spilled off of that into the, I don't know how many he was, how much he was hauling, and I don't know how many popped open. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says a car traveling down the highway during several inches of heavy rainfall hit a puddle and hydroplane, causing the semi truck to veer off the road and crash in the woods. No one was injured. Monroe County EMA Director Matt Perry says some of the buckets of paint inside the truck leaked into the Little Tawaga Creek. We dammed everything up and stopped it. Some got into the waterway. Monroe County emergency management teams worked with several agencies to clean up the puddles of white paint. Georgia Environmental Protection Department says the paint was non-toxic and wouldn't hurt anyone. Most of it was gone. It was just so much water coming through there, it just diluted it all. Cleanup crews worked for hours to gather up the paint and will continue scraping up what's left. Now they are literally watching the paint dry. People in Riverwalk neighborhoods see no signs of white coloring in the water, but keep their eyes peeled. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll keep watching. In Monroe County, in Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. EMA Director Matthew Perry says a cleanup company will come out and dig up all of the remaining paint, and the state will continue to monitor the water around the spill area.